Everybody with the cup getting coffee. 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 Friends call me Coco, I'm about to tell you what's up I drink a lot of coffee, I can't get enough I drink five pots, I use one cup, I mix a lot of cream When I went on the Extreme Tour, um, I was super excited to showcase my stuff And I'm not a rapper, I'm mm -hmm. just like a, I'm a pop artist Yeah. And so I imagined myself holding the guitar up there And really in every city I was rapping Every show <laughs> And, and uh I could not do that without throwing in the coffee wrap. And I know you and I talked about doing it live together. I know, but you're like, I, I don't, I'm nervous. Yeah, you didn't want to do it. So I shortened the song and I just made it uh, my two verses mm -hmm. where it goes into the go, go. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I got to say it, but one of the dudes that was uh, a staff member that was kind of with us the whole time, bunking with us and things, he rapped with Tupac. Oh, okay. So he's from that era. He's been involved in that music scene like Dang. tremendously, and he loved that song <laughs> so much. And he he made sure to tell me. He's like, dude, like you surprised me with the bars on that. Like, <laughs> and he was up front too. I'm gonna have to show you some videos of them like doing some like they're like kicking kicking in the circle or whatever to the coffee song and. Um, it was it was surprising to me um first of all that i was just doing more rap than any anything else but what i was going to share with you is we after every search and rescue day and after every event day we have a wrap-up meeting at every wrap-up meeting we talk about our experiences with different strangers and, and yeah. things and we start to see like one of those movies where all the different stories come together at the end yeah. that's what the wrap-up meetings were like every night there was a girl named jennifer that accidentally showed up to our event in Akron, Ohio. We set it up on the side of this road and it was a very like, it was ghetto, dude. it was yeah. so ghetto. This girl named Jennifer walks up and she just, she looks like real rough, like she's just been defeated by life and um, she's dealing with, uh, later on we realized she was dealing with addiction issues and things like that. Um, and really just doing anything she can to afford you know, that addiction. And I saw them talking, like over by a street sign, while I was getting ready to go up on stage. Mm -hmm. And I just, I was in the mode of ministry, and I was like, Lord, just can, can you please, um, just be at the center of this conversation? This looks like an awesome opportunity for Mel to minister. Mm -hmm. And um, then I just left it at that. I didn't revisit that. I didn't see them after that. I just went up on stage and did a 25 minute set of rap songs uh, one after the other and so during our wrap-up meeting later on I realized that uh, Jennifer shows up on accident she was dropped off um, at a church nearby by someone and she heard the music and walked over to our event she just lingered on the edges quite a bit because she had a bunch of shame mm -hmm. um, just in that area really she couldn't really go into coffee shop and things uh, the girl from Extreme Tour, like, immediately her heart swelled up with love for her. And she approached her and chatted with her for a bit. And the Holy Spirit told her to give her a bandana. So she gave her a bandana. Um, when she gave it to her, she fell on um, her shoulders weeping um, and swaying. Um, and the Holy Spirit really works like that. Like, it just... It brings you out, it, it out of you, all these emotions. You don't want to tell people all these emotions that you're feeling, but you don't know how to get into words. Like, it just came out. She uh, was very resistant. She didn't want to go in there because she was, everyone knew her. Mm -hmm. Everyone, and she had so much shame. She's like, they know me. They know, you know, what I do and things. Um, but she asked her if she likes coffee. She says, I love coffee. She absolutely loves coffee. The girl from our tour said, you can go in there. You're our guest. You're my guest, and I'll make, I'll make that known. Um, so once they were inside, she started to dump out her whole life story. Right around that time, I was doing the coffee rap. <laughs> and it, this is a massive sound system, so you can hear it all the way, like, blocks away. So mm. across the street in the coffee shop, um, my friends call me Coco, right? <laughs> Very silly song. We didn't even yeah, think yeah. about any of this no, when we, we recorded just, it. We found a coffee thing in your house and said <laughs> about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> but what the song did was it uh it kind of uh 
reinforced this belief in Mal's heart that the Holy Spirit was calling her to buy a week's worth of coffee for this lady at the coffee shop. Mm. I'm not sure if you've ever been to an AA or things like that. There's always coffee there. Coffee, caffeine helps you through that. And so um, when when she was sharing the story at the end of the night, she just looks at me. She's like, guess what song you were playing when that happened, David? And I'm like, no way. So I'm like, man, I got to tell Cameron this. It's going to blow him <laughs> away. And I wanted you to know that even something just as silly as the coffee wrap that, you know, we we get a kick out of listening to yeah, just yeah, both yeah. of us in a car or whatever and and kind of you know it, it wasn't like a, a a massive hit yeah but god used that um and, and i just thought that was so awesome i wanted to tell you that so, yeah that's awesome yeah, that's really cool.